Hi there, welcome back to the Inspired Method YouTube channel. We're your Edmonton business coaches, Trevor and Karen Sammons, and today's topic is lowering price is not the answer, okay? Here's a quote from Zig Ziglar, one of my favorites. It is unwise to pay too little. When you pay too much, you lose a little money. That is all. When you pay too little, you sometimes lose everything because the thing you bought was incapable of doing what it was bought to do. The common law of business balance prohibits paying a little and getting a lot. So true. Here's a quick statistic we want to share with you, and it's something that keeps us going day in and day out. 50% of all Canadian businesses will go out of business in the first five years. And 29% of these failed businesses will list running out of cash as the main reason for their failure, making running out of cash the second most common reason for business failure. Mm. That is huge. So quick story, business owners think that price is the thing that customers value the most. I've seen this so many times with different businesses. As a, as a business coach in Edmonton, we've talked to people and we say, what do you want to do as your business? This is my business. I want to be the cheapest out there. I can outbid anybody else in the marketplace and that's going to make me win. I spoke with a guy last week and that was his thing. I am the cheapest. Okay, then you're going to go out of business first mm -hmm. is what I told him. Yeah. <laughs> and he was kind of shocked. He was like, what, what, what? I'm like, people don't just buy in price. And we're going to talk more about that. So what are some of the questions we have, Karen, for this video? So why do you like to talk about the Nissan Versa? Because it is such an amazing car. It is just the best. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The Nissan Versa is the lowest cost of ownership car on the market today. And actually has been for several years. Now, if price was the only reason people bought a car, everyone would be driving a Nissan Versa. Mm -hmm. So there's that. But do you drive a Nissan Versa? I saw my first one yesterday. Oh, I've I, never even yeah, like I saw one. Uh, they're they're a very small oh, little right. car, um, yeah. but they they look inexpensive, cheap, <laughs> cheap. <laughs> and and you know I I could not buy that car for me and my family. We just have different needs. Mm -hmm. So because you have different needs, and your customers have different needs, price is not the main factor. No. Why are people's cell phones or clothes good examples? Examples of how price is not number one. Personal preference. People like to feel special. They like to have status, prestige, and we all have different tastes, right? And because we have the ability to purchase what we want, um, it's all over the map. So people will usually go to the, the, the higher end of their personal budget or their personal preference when they're buying clothes. Now. Think about this, your cell phone. Even if you can't afford rice of roni, I guarantee you probably have uh, either an iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy, or you've got some kind of a fancy phone, but I guarantee you the, the type of phone and budget was not the contributing factor. Otherwise you would have a flip phone with, yeah. with, with maybe a camera on it, maybe be able to, to send or receive an email. That's about it. You would not have a fancy, you know, <laughs> phone with all these apps and games and widgets and all the things that come with a smartphone. Do we even make calls on our phones anymore? Like, no. <laughs> I know. I, I was talking to a guy not long ago who was homeless, sleeping on couches, but he had a cell phone with a plan. <laughs> right? We're not giving up those phones. So. No. So what <clears throat> difficult facts do business owners who can only sell on price have to face? The difficult fact that these business owners have to face is if you are wanting to be the low price offering in your market, there's always going to be someone who's lower. Mm -hmm. Always will be someone who is wanting to be the lowest priced option for whatever it is that's going on out there. And you need to come to terms with that, that you need to price yourself based on value and then over deliver so that you can demand that price, mm -hmm. right? Sure. That's one thing you need to do. Yep. If you continue to sell on price, will you have to cut corners on time and products? You know, I've seen it so many times. In construction, 
Um, <laughs> people who come in, oh yeah, we got the bid, we're the lowest price. So many times I've seen, <laughs> I have seen bad things happen when somebody won based on price because they don't show up on time, they don't, they aren't committed to the job. A lot of times they run out of money halfway through and they have to abandon the job and you never see them again. And then the general contractor has to find somebody else to pick up the slack and it usually costs them more because they went for the lowest price offer. Yeah. Um, that is a sure way to fail and go out of business faster than anybody else is to be the lowest price option. Yeah, what a headache too. I'm right? Stress. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. If you continue to sell on price, will you be able to afford quality team members? That's pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. If you don't make enough money to even pay yourself, how are you going to pay for good quality people? You're not going to be able to. That's just a fact of life. You know, good business with good people requires a certain level of revenue to be generated. And if you don't do that, then you are, you're going to have low quality people who may or may not show up on time, may or may not even show up at all. They might steal from you. They, they might, you know, talk rudely to your customers, maybe even steal from your customers. You don't know. Yeah. Um, if you're not able to pay the right people the right price, you're not going to, you're not going to be able to survive. Yeah. Just the way it is. Are customers who only value price generally bad customers? <laughs> Uh, grouchy, right? Yeah, yeah. typically, Entitled. typically people who are really tight with their finances, uh, really, um, we'll say cheap and always looking for the bargain are typically your biggest pain in the butt customer because they'll want everything they for nothing. The they yeah. expect the most, pay the least, and they give you the most headaches. Now, if you want to be the lowest price offering in the market, then those are the kind of customers you are going to deal with. Yep. It's just the facts of life. I've seen it over and over again as an Edmonton business coach. And it, that is just a fact of life. Um, the people who pay the least are the biggest pains in the butt. <laughs> Do people value features and functionality? Yes, absolutely. For example, we had the privilege of uh, using a Volvo for a month. Mm -hmm. It was great. Thank you so much, Volvo Edmonton for allowing us to use that vehicle for a month, it was great. Like there's all the different accoutrements, the bells and whistles, the touch screens, the climate control, the, the automatically adjusting suspension, moon roof, all of these great things. And you know what? We would love to have that in a vehicle. Why? Because it makes driving more enjoyable. It makes even getting in there make you feel a little bit more special going in. When you put on a nice set of clothes, you feel better. You, you, you stand up straighter, right? You, you look in the mirror and you're like, oh dang, I look pretty good, right? And it makes you feel better when, and when you've got better features, functionality and stuff uh, on your products and services that you buy, mm -hmm. right? And you feel good. Like when you buy that iPhone or that Samsung or, or whatever phone you've got, you're like, man, I've got I've got a good quality item here. This thing's going to last me a long time. It feels good. I feel a sense of pride of ownership of having it. So, um, you know, it, it just goes without saying. Mm -hmm. But I've said a lot, if that makes sense. <laughs> Do people value reputation? Yes. Reputation matters. Reputation is almost um, a currency, especially with, when it comes to social media, mm -hmm. because your reputation even though it can take a lifetime to build, can be destroyed in minutes. That's why reviews are so very important for you to get for your business. Mm -hmm. Good five-star reviews, as many as possible, because then when that one hater comes along and they want to try and sabotage you or you get an angry employee or someone you fired want to try and you know, wreck your reputation, then you've got a lot, a lot in the tank in order to combat that. So reputation is huge. Do people value speed and convenience? I tell you what, I've never seen a slow McDonald's drive through right? Make anyone happy. Right? <laughs> They're <laughs> slow McDonald's drive throughs <laughs> But the ones that are, not very happy. Oh, but they want to move people through nice and yeah. fast, right? People like speed, they like convenience, 
they like, you know, in and out, done, because we want to get on to something else in our lives, right? We don't want to just be, you know, waiting in line all day just because we love to wait in line in our cars. Mm -hmm. Even though we might have a nice car like a Volvo, <laughs> we don't want to sit in it all day in line. Is customer experience likely the most underestimated consideration? Oh boy. Yeah, customer experience. For us, being in the business we're in, being in marketing and business coaching, it's huge. Customer experience is paramount. And I am one who will point out when it's being done right, and I'll also point out when it's not up to par. Mm -hmm. Because I want to you know, give credit where credit's due, and if I can help the management or help somebody along the way and say, hey, you know what, this is our experience, could have done this better, then at least I'm doing my best to help provide a, a solution for a customer service problem. Yeah. So yeah, customer service is, is massive. Nice. Well, thanks so much for joining us here today on Ad Inspired Method Marketing, your Edmonton business coaches. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, leave us a comment, and we'll see you guys on the next video.